Hey, it's saxophonist, dentist, and avid foodie, Philip Doc Martin. I'm sure you guys are wondering what happened with part two of the Pensacola Jazz Fest. Let's find out, baby! So let's give you all a quick recap. I had a dope week at the office. My dad came into town to see me and meet his new grandson. I flew to Pensacola, Florida for the Pensacola Jazz Fest, had a rehearsal, ate at a memorable restaurant, and passed out. Okay. So here we are on Sunday, the day of my show. The forecast all week called for thunderstorms, but by some miracle, we didn't have a drop of rain for the whole festival. The stage and venue was absolutely breathtaking, but the best part about it was how well attended this festival was. It was wall to wall, packed to the brim with die hard jazz fans. Here is one right here who calls herself the crazy sax lady. She came over to the stage and called me over before my show to let me know that she was out here and to be ready. <laughs> so in Doc Martin fashion, I had to show her what was up. Here's a little peek of what went down. Can you tell I had a blast? I really did, but what was most satisfying to me was getting to see my musical family in the flesh doing their thing. We were all in this situation together and it was great catching up with everyone. Performing at festivals like this is such a special thing because you're really playing to die hard jazz fans, which is my target audience. It was so awesome getting to interact with this crowd after the show. I met up with old fans and made a whole bunch of new ones. So after all this playing and socializing, I was so hungry. Time to eat. There were only three food trucks at this huge festival for some reason. The first one had all this rotten food on display, so that was a pass for me. The other two were selling the same exact things, but this one had a line, so I went over there. I was so hungry, I just started ordering and the lady could barely keep up. It took a little while due to them cooking things to order. Oh, oh, my number just got called. Right. I got two whole wings, I got two ribs. You got a piece of fish, a piece of corn, fried, baked beans, hot sauce, and barbecue sauce. So I took it straight to the dressing room and started crushing. Out of all the food, which was mid for the most part, the best thing was the corn? <laughs> Checked out the rest of the festival, Incognito was closing the show, it was awesome! Monday, time to go home. I made sure I got to the airport early for my 6 o'clock flight. Woo, it was early. Checked in and went through security and when I got to the gate I was greeted with this wonderful message. My 6 a.m. flight was now leaving at 11 a.m. Wow, thanks American! I got home way later than I expected, but I still got home in time to chew up my family and my father before he left the next day. My brother grilled up some of his famous jerk chicken. It was great and good times were had by all.